Hello friends, my name is Malin Shah. I am studying in Information and Communication Technology branch in Marwadi University. This is my first video in which I will be giving an introduction to bipolar junction transistor. Just to get started, I would like to share a bit history on bipolar junction transistor. As the electronics industry was advancing, there was a need of amplifiers that were smaller in size and they could give a much more power work and could con and would work on low voltage so as the industry had these requirements these two great persons walter h britain and john badin came up in the bell telephone laboratories with bipolar junction transistors and these three terminal solid state devices were in immediately taken over by the tube as they were smaller in size, lightweight, they had no heater requirement or no heat loss and they were much more efficient. So the main advantages of bipolar junction transistors are they have high power, high frequency, miniaturization, less power consumed, they are definitely more efficient and they have very low operating voltage. There are mainly two types of BJTs, one known as PNP and the other known as NPN. There are three terminals in a bipolar junction transistor, one known as the emitter, the other base and the other collector. Emitter emits the electron and the collector collects the electron via the base. There are three main configuration of bipolar junction transistor, namely the common emitter, the common base and the common collector. This is the common emitter circuit diagram in which the emitter is the common as the name itself suggests. This is the common collector circuit diagram in which we can see that the collector is common, right? And this is the common base in which we can see that the base is common to the sources. Now I will be implementing this design in Multisim and we will be checking out the voltage and the current game of all three configurations, the common emitter, common base and the common collector to see the game given by the three configurations. So I have already implemented these designs in multisim and we will be giving the same input voltage that let's take it to be 30 millivolt and be checking the output voltage for all the circuit configurations right and we will also see the input current and the output current given by the three circuits in common base common emitter and common collector so to check out the co the voltage gain and the current gain we should know what it actually means so it is nothing but just that voltage gain is the output voltage upon the input voltage it will define the amount of gain given by the circuit and the current gain is similar to the out the voltage gain which is output current upon the input current so i have already made the circuit as you see I am giving 30 millivolt RMS 1 kilohertz frequency and no phase right and I have put a series resistor of 100 ohm and in series I have put this multimeter in which I am measuring the current. This is the transistor and uh, I have put this uh, multimeter to ca uh, calculate the output current right and this is the output voltage that we are getting so i will run the circuit and you see the output voltage of the circuit is 8.259 volts right the input current is 8.304 milliampere and the output current is 8.259 approximately milliampere so if we calculate we get to see that the out the voltage gain for the circuit is 275 approximately and uh, the current gain is approximately 1 
in the circuit we see that the base emitter junction the base emitter junction is forward bias as you see and the common the collector base is reverse bias I'll, now i'll pause this and we shall move further to the common emitter circuit so in the circuit i will explain you will here this is the source in which i am giving 30 millivolt rms with a frequency of 1 kilohertz and no phase in that i have put a multimeter in which we are measuring the current right this is the capacitor of uh, 10 microfarads and this is the circuit of common emitter right and here we will be checking out the output so i will run the circuit and show you the output so as you see i have given 30 millivolt of uh, in input we are getting uh, around uh, this thing 646.70 uh, micro ampere of current and the input current is around 34 micro ampere so just checking out the output voltage we will check it in the oscilloscope and in the graph b we see that it is around 1.8 volt so if you calculate the current gain it would be around current gain would be around 18 or you can say approximately 19 8 because it is 18.9 and for the uh, voltage gain we will see that it is 60 in this circuit you can actually see that uh, the base emitter the base and the emitter is forward biased while the common uh, the collector and the base is at reverse bias so moving further to the common collector circuit as you see i have already made the circuit and in the circuit you will get to see that the source is 30 millivolt rms right and i have uh, placed these um, multimeters just to calculate it and get it easy you see that the collector is common and we have taken the resistors at 33 kilo and 3.3 kilo and this, this is the scenario to just to calculate and know the voltage gain and the current gain of the circuit i will play the circuit and you can see that uh, the input is around 30 millivolt and the output is 28.408 millivolt and the input current is 10.312 micro ampere and the output current is 1.407 milliampere so if you calculate the voltage gain you will get around 1 which is 0.946 and the, the current gain is around 136 so you see that the current gain for this circuit is quite high right so going on to the conclusion of the video we have already seen the voltage gain and the current gain for all the three uh, configuration and here you can see the actual reading of uh, the common base the common emitter and the common collector circuit you see that with the voltage gain for the common base is the maximum among the all right and the current gain is maximum for the common collector circuit so we can conclude from these the whole process that the common base has the maximum voltage gain while while it has the it has just one current gain and uh, for the common collector circuit it has just one voltage gain and around 136 current gain i'm sorry one voltage gain right and common emitter we see that it is just in between common base and common collector so thank you for watching my video i hope uh, i have made it clear about common base common emitter and common collector so just to get started uh, i have made this video thank you